give me strength to get through this video. It's snowing! Snow and the beach, weird mama game beautiful. Hello, shorty bays. Hello, besties. I am back to hurt my own feelings. I'm gonna read one star reviews of my favorite books because that's always so much fun for me. And I love having fun over here. Yay. I have here four of my faves. The reason why my number one fave is not included in this, which is Addicted Callaway, for those of you who don't know. I made a whole video for that one, and um, that was a, a great day. So if you haven't watched that one, go watch it. But I picked four of my other favorite series after Addicted Callaway, which would be Dirty Air, Magnolia Parks Universe, Hoops, and the Twisted series. And I'm just gonna be reading one star reviews of them. Wow, this is so great. Before I start this video, let me just say that everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and there's no judgment from me ever on the books you like or on the books you hate. This is just for fun, honestly. I feel like I should get that out of the way first because, well, just because. I'm going to be starting with my babies, the Hoop series. It's Long Shot, Block Shot, then Hook Shot. They're all interconnected standalones by Kennedy Ryan. Please, please, please search up trigger warnings for these. They are so, so heavy. Do not be expecting a cute sports romance out of these because you will be highly, highly disappointed. There's romance, there's sports, there's found family, all of that, but every single book is really, really heavy. It's Especially long shot. Long shot is literally about domestic abuse. So please, please, please search up the trigger warnings if you're going to be reading this series. Please beware before you go into it so that you take care of yourself first. I love this series with my whole heart. I rated long shot five stars, block shot 4.5, and hook shot five stars. So clearly I love them all. Long shot is August and Iris, block shot is Jared and Banner, and hook shot is Lotus and Keenan, and they're all dual POV. I, 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 I mm, here we go. So the first one I got is for block shot. Oh, this one's in Portuguese. Oh, we love that for me. Okay, it says, uh-oh, não gostei desse livro. <laughs> Personagens fracos, histórias sem graça. Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, for those of you who don't know what she said, she said, uh oh, I didn't like this book. The characters were weak and the story wasn't fun. It had nothing to it, basically. It's just funny that she started it and ended it with uh oh. Uh oh, I'm falling in love. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I love that it was in Portuguese. This one is for long shot and it says, nope, 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 nope. I would venture to say that nope. No to the no to the no, uh oh, my name is no. You need to let it go. I don't know why I'm in such a singy mood today, which is a bad thing since I can't sing, but here we are. This one is for long shot as well. And it says, this was actually a bit traumatic, TBH, but it was really good. <laughs> Wait, it was traumatic, I do agree. But you said it was really good, but you rated it a one star. What do you mean? I am the most confused. Wow, our rating systems are very different. This says, I'm not sure why I read this book. I really hate basketball and I just couldn't get into this book. <laughs> I'm not sure why I read this. I hate basketball, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. That was a good one. <laughs> this one's again for long shot. All of these are for long shot. Baby, I'm so sorry. You are so traumatic though. They're right about that. DNFing this, the writing is trash. And it's too sporty for me. Sorry. How are you shocked that a series called Hoops is sporty? The fuck? Me watching the World Cup. Wow, there is just way too much soccer in this for me. <laughs> I have already forgot I had to read it. <laughs> this one's for Hookshot. Honestly, I like that because she's like, I forgot. <laughs> she's like, I was reading it. I forgot what happened. It was bad one star, I don't care. You know, I gotta respect that. Oh, this one's kind of long. Um, this one's for Hookshot as well, my baby, oh gosh. It is deeply unfortunate how the author created such a strong, formidable character in Longshot only for her to become an immature character in her own novel. Oh no. Lotus? Of course there are emotional and psychological issues Lotus needs to take care of with professional help, but the age gap in the relationship with the NBA player, her bad fashion, her bad fashion, she's a fashion designer. Did she have bad fashion? She had beautiful fashion, I think. Then again, I didn't search up the outfits. I honestly don't know. Speaking of immature, Keenan's daughter, Simone, was 14 going on six. <laughs> okay, this is so true because when I read Hookshot, I was like, how old is Simone? I for so long thought she was like literally five years old. And then they said she was 14 and I was like, girl. This book was about 100 pages too long with the same circular conversations and forgettable side characters. This novel was 
terrible. The author can and has written better. That one hit the spot. I'm not gonna lie. That one hit different. It was just so well written and it just picked at such important points that it, it cut deep. You know what I mean? You know when someone makes a good point and you're like, damn. I'm gonna still rate it five stars though, but you right. This one's the last one. It's for Hookshot. It says, didn't even finish it. <laughs> I love when people DNF and they're just like, I just didn't even finish this. Because you know what? Good for you. You weren't liking the book and you just didn't finish it. As you should. As you should. <laughs> With all of that being said, go read the Hoops Trilogy by Kennedy Ryan if you're in the mood for an emotional roller coaster with a side of sports, with the romance, with some amazing characters, with incredible fashion. <laughs> but please search up trigger warning. I'm gonna do Dirty Air next. Dirty Air by Lauren Asher. It is an F1 series. They're all interconnected standalones. You can read them separately or you can follow it. They all do appear in each other's books. We've got Throttled, then we have Collided, and then we have Wrecked, and then we have Redeemed. Throttled is Maya and Noah. Collided is Sophie and Liam. Wrecked is Jax and Elena. And Redeemed is Chloe and Santi. I love this series with my entire heart. I think I rated Throttled and Collided both four stars. And then I rated Redeemed and Wrecked both five stars. I love this entire series. Search up trigger warnings for it. All of them are dual POV. Amazing found family. Everything in it is incredible to me. I love Lauren Asher with my entire soul. So let's read some people not love it. This one's for Throttled. It says, what's the opposite of Via- Hello? What's the opposite of Viagra? Because these two need a horse's dose of it? book was spicy and that they had a lot of sex. <laughs> you heard that? Maya, Noah, you need whatever the opposite of Viagra is. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That one even made me cry. <laughs> Do not talk to me about this book. I want to forget this exists. They don't even want to discuss. They just read it and they regret it and they don't want to talk about it. So we won't talk about it any further. I was not having a good time. <laughs> Again with Ronald, oh my God. <laughs> okay, we've got some for Collided. This book would have been infinitely better if every single character died. <laughs> Are people getting paid to say this book was good? The girl was literally wearing sneakers under her dress and he thought she was so special. Sophie was just like, who says I can't wear my Converse with my dress? You know, points were made. Sophie was very much, I'm not like other girls, but I still really liked her when she wasn't being like that. You know, I can't argue with it. I can't argue with that. You're right. There's no way Liam is written by a woman. Well, it, there is. There is a way because it is, it, it is in fact so. If I had a paperback of this book, I'd collide it with the wall. I see what you did there. I don't like it, but I see it. Oh no, we're getting to the ones of Wrecked. Oh no. I don't know if I physically and emotionally can take hate towards Wrecked and Redeemed. But let's do it. I thought the series would get better. It did not. <laughs> keep going because I thought it would be better by the end of it, but you know, it wasn't. It wasn't. And here we are. Ew. Ew what? Ew what? Explain yourself at least. What do you mean ew? So funny. Ha 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 ha. Um, what's funny? Because wrecked quite literally wrecked me. What do you mean funny? What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing. Share the joke. Share with the class. I want to laugh too. I want a ha ha ha. Not funny ha ha, funny weird. Reading these books makes me feel so much better about my life. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so you gotta give it to Lauren Asher. She's just constantly making us love life. Oh no, these are for redeemed. Oh no, not Santi. No, no, no. I think we owe it to ourselves to unapologetically love who we are no matter what. Because if you don't love yourself, then why do you expect anyone else to? Okay, what the fuck does that have to do with your one star review? That's such a nice quote. What's going on here? You rated it one star and then you put this beautiful quote about loving yourself. I would like to further discuss this. At least make it make sense. Literally painful. You know what's painful? Me reading these. Yes, here I am. I love this series. I love Lauren Asher. So don't listen to any of that. Listen to me. Go read Dirty Air. <laughs> 
I thought the plane was going down. How'd you turn it back around? All right, Shadi Bays, I'm gonna do Magnolia Parks next. The Magnolia Parks universe so far is only um, Magnolia Parks 1, then it's Daisy Hates, and then Magnolia Parks The Long Way Home. You can read Daisy Hates by itself if you'd like, and you can read the Magnolia ones by themselves, but you can't read like Long Way Home before reading MP, or else it won't make sense. So I would highly recommend going in order. Magnolia Parks and Magnolia Parks The Long Way Home is about the same couple, BJ and Magnolia, dual POV, and then Daisy Hates is about a different different couple, Christian and Daisy, and there are going to be more books also. So, so far we don't have an ending to this series yet. I would highly recommend it, but it's not cute, fluffy romance. Don't go into it expecting that. It's very much drama filled, gossip girl vibes. It's like high society London and all these rich characters who are a little bit fucked up and they fuck each other over and there's cheating. The second one is actually a mafia romance. Be prepared for all of that. <laughs> I feel like points are gonna be made here, I'm not gonna lie. This is the worst book I've ever read in my life. I went through all the stages. I cried, I physically cried because it was so bad. <laughs> I want to yell. I have the worst feeling inside of me because I wasted so much of my precious life that I will never ever get back. And it pains me because if I could, I would go back and literally kill whoever recommended this book to me. I would highly recommend it. I ducking want to die. I want to to die. Please someone kill me. I have nothing to look forward to. I will not read the second book. I will not. Nothing could make me read that. I'd rather easy literal shit. I'm sorry? Oh, eat. I feel like they ruined British people. Oh my God. <laughs> ruined British people. <laughs> that was one of the most aggressive reviews I've ever seen. <laughs> what do you say to that? You know what I mean? There's nothing I can say. It's just like, damn, sorry that you had such a bad time. It's crazy how two people can have such different experiences with the same book. Interesting. Someone needs to stop the book talk girlies from recommending books. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll be reading the next one. <laughs> Here's the thing, did I hate that? Yes. Will I be reading the next one? Also, yes. <laughs> if you read this entire book and liked it, you need therapy, OMG. I'm already in therapy, so what now? I hate TikTok book recommendations. Gosh darn, why do you have to blame book talk for everything? Gosh darn. <laughs> I never said I didn't like trash. Every time I recommend something, it's because I like it. Maybe your fault. Maybe your standards are too high. Lower them a bit. <laughs> they are insufferable. I wanted to gauge my eyes out and dip them in acid. Oh, wow. The only good thing about this book was Tom. Literally, fuck BJ. The only reason I'll be reading the rest of the series is because I hope BJ dies. You take that back right now. <laughs> Somehow, worse than the first one. <laughs> There was no reason for this shit to be 80 something chapters. If only they went to therapy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're right. Everything in that book could have been fixed if they went to therapy. You are so, so right. But what fun would that be for us? Well, for you, maybe it would be fun since you didn't like it. But for me, it would be no fun at all. With all of that being said, Shoddy Bay's Magnolia Parks, I could not recommend it enough. I love the series so, so incredibly much. Do they look like children's books with their covers? Yes. Do I also love the covers? Yes. Am I a child? No. I don't think that one needed to be answered. Read Magnolia Parks, search up trigger warnings. I will be ending the super fun video with the Twisted series by Anna Huang. It's Twisted Love, then Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and Twisted Lies. Just like the other ones I've talked about, they're interconnected standalones. They all follow a different couple. We've got Twisted Love with Ava and Alex, Twisted Games with Reese and Bridget, Twisted Hate with Jules and Josh, and then Twisted Lies with Christian and Stella. I love this series. I think I rated Twisted Love four stars, Twisted Games 4.25 or 4.5. And then Twisted Hate and Twisted Lies, I rated five stars. These two are my favorite in the series for sure. I am very protective of this series. I love the found family. The epilogue and Twisted Lies just cured everything inside me besides my depression. But everything else, search of trigger warnings. Ah, let's see, Twisted Love. I was going to give this two stars, but then my dude started singing and I simply could not. <laughs> I blocked that out. You're right, why did he sing? Who allowed it? I don't know. This one's also for Twisted Love. It says, I literally did not sign up for a murder mystery. <laughs> and why did he sing? Horrific. <laughs> no one is a fan of Alex's singing. Guy, why did you sing? It says you have a heart of ice. Why the fuck are you singing? That's not very hard advice of you. I know Alex is supposed to be a possessive alpha or whatever, but that man just scared me. <laughs> me to Alex, stay away. <laughs> they are ripping.
putting Alex to shreds. <laughs> Listen, Alex in his own book wasn't my favorite, but I will say in Twisted Hate and in Twisted Lies, Alex and Ava were incredible. Anyone who told me this book was good literally lied to my face. Hi, I'm Larissa. I'm a liar. I wish I could unread this. You don't get what you wish for. Hello, someone's calling me. Howdy. I also wish I could unread it so that I could read it again and have the experience again, but that's probably not what you meant. Twisted games. Okay, switching it up. God, people on TikTok are such liars or layers. I know, I am in fact a layer. Always have been, you know. Just watch Princess Diaries 2 for a better experience. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's a little bit of Princess Diaries 2 with spice. And I do love Princess Diaries 2. Oh no, Twisted Hate. I just like inflicting pain on myself, apparently. I'm guessing this means she read the first couple books, didn't like it, and continued. <laughs> oh, this was twisted, all right. You know, it's just like the one star reviews are so clever and they just get me. Hell with you sounds like heaven to me. And because of that quote, this book gets one star. Listen, listen, what's wrong with that quote? I like that quote. I think in fact that I annotated that quote. I'm not gonna lie to you. We are very different individuals. Every time Josh called her red, my mind went to Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> I love that because not once did my mind go there. She has red hair. It's cute. Good smut, but bad shit crazy plot. Good smut, you say. <sighs> Here we go, Twisted Lies. The only good thing about this book is that I'm finally done reading the series. Why didn't you just stop? I respect you finishing it though, because you wanted to see if it would get better. And clearly it didn't, but you tried. Nope, I'm never touching any book with Twisted in the title again. <laughs> Every book with the word Twisted is ruined. <laughs> The power in Huang holes. <laughs> With all of that being said, Twisted series, I love it so much. I just ordered special editions of these. I will show you guys when it arrives because I'm very excited. That's how much I love this series. Um, This was fun. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the giggles. If you rate my favorite book one star, I hate you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't hate you, but we may never talk because I hate you. I'm kidding again. <laughs> Or am I? Let me know if you want to see any more of me reading one star reviews of my favorite books and I'll do it. I don't even know what other books I could read one star reviews of, but give me some suggestions or maybe I could do a part two of five star reviews of my least favorite books. I don't know. Let me know. I love you so. Comment down below that you love me back. Goodbye. <laughs>